Hey guys, welcome back to JT Wealth. My name is Julie and in today's video we have a hot topic which is the latest SPAC merger between Hylion and Tortoise Acquisitions and why this is one to watch. Okay, so welcome back guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks to all the subscribers lately. And if you are new here, please remember to hit that subscribe button and give us a like below. Today, like I said, we are gonna go over the latest SPAC merger, which is between Hylion and Tortoise Acquisitions. First, we're gonna quickly go over what exactly a SPAC is as well. We've seen a lot of these videos out there lately, so we just wanna break it down for you so you understand exactly what is going on. After we cover off what a SPAC is, we are gonna go through exactly how this merger with Tortoise acquisition is going to work and also how it compares to another SPAC merger that has happened recently. All right, what is a SPAC? So right from investopedia.com, you can see it's a SPAC is a special purpose acquisition company. These are formed to raise money through an IPO offering to buy another company. So these are generally formed by investors or sponsors who have expertise in a particular industry or business sector, and they normally have an intention of pursuing a deal within that same sector as well. In creating a SPAC, the founders sometimes have at least one acquisition target in mind, but they don't necessarily identify that target to avoid extensive disclosures during the IPO process. This is why they're called blank check companies, because the IPO investors have no idea what company they'll ultimately be investing in. The investors that put their money into a SPAC don't have any idea what company they'll ultimately end up being invested in. They just kind of know that area or particular industry. Uh, the SPAC has two years to complete an acquisition or afterwards they must return those funds back to the investors. So why would a company choose to merge with a SPAC instead of offering their own IPO? The answer is just the ease of the process and the expedited timing that it offers them. For them to go through becoming a publicly traded company, it can be upwards of a year long process to get that IPO. Compared to traditional IPOs, SPAC IPOs can be significantly quicker. Uh, due to their lack of traditional business operations, filings for a SPAC IPO are significantly shorter and can be prepared in a matter of weeks. By the time they merge with the company, they are able to offer their IPO right away without having to go through that whole traditional process. This brings us to the Hylion merger with Tortoise Acquisitions. This merger was reported on June 19th, and they're expecting the merger to be completed by the end of Q3 2020. So let's take a look at what Hylion is and what made Tortoise Acquisitions choose to invest in them. So Hylion is a company that was founded in 2015. They are an EV truck company, and these guys are primarily focused on converting existing class eight vehicles, which are your typical semi trucks that are on the roads, uh, to hybrid electric drivetrains. Their technology to convert the standard diesel truck to a hybrid EV is compatible with a conventional semi-truck that's on the road today. This enables their customers to quickly realize lower carbon emissions and significant lower cost of ownership. At the same time, they're able to make the move towards electric without having to replace their entire fleet with brand new semi-trucks. Obviously, being able to modify an existing truck rather than having to buy a whole new truck will rapidly accelerate the near-term adoption of these electric vehicles into the commercial vehicle market. A great thing about Hylion as well is that they currently have 20 of these actually out on the road right now being tested. Aside from this drivetrain modification, they're also working on coming out with their own full truck, uh, the Hylion ERX powertrain, which is going to be a fully electric class eight truck that recharges itself by efficient driving. So that'll be coming out in the next few years as well. When it comes to all of this transition from the standard diesel truck to the EV technology, it is important to consider how the actual truck drivers are viewing this transition. So here is a great video. This is from the Asian My Show official trucking show. Uh, and he is a driver who showed up at Hylion and was able to actually go on a ride along with a truck driver in a current EV truck setup. 
He really gets the inside look at it. Um, and you can really tell that the driver, who has also been truck driving for 20 years, did not find it an uncomfortable change. It was a pretty seamless transition. So check out that video. We will have the link to it down below in the description. Now, what does this merger mean for Hylion? At the end of this merger, the pro forma implied market capitalization of the combined company is over $1.5 billion. Hylion will have about $520 million in cash to fund growth uh, based on the cash held in the trust and another $325 million in pipe proceeds. These proceeds will be used to fully fund the commercialization and mass production of the company's electrified powertrain solutions. Once the merger is completed, uh, Tortoise Acquisitions, which is currently SHLL, will become the newly combined company on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker HYLN. Okay, so why does this merger have us so excited? You can see here on the graph, uh, it was hovering around that $10 mark, which is the typical initial stock price for us back. Once the announcement of the merger came out, you can see right there on June 19th, this thing spiked up, went to a high of nearly $35 and is now sitting around that $24 mark. People are getting really excited about this because we saw a very similar spike in another recent merger with Nikola. So let's take a look at that. Here is what Nikola did with their merger with Vecto IQ. So their merger was announced back in March, and you can see the small uptick on that Vecto IQ share price, uh, which then became Nikola on the day of the merger. After the merger was completed, we then see the price soar upwards to a closing high at one point of about $80. So Nikola is also in the electric truck company sector there. However, they have yet to test their technology in the real world. They were able to send their share price this high while not actually having a truck on the road today. We have since seen the stock price come back down to that low 40s mark. Um, I think that's because people are starting to dig a little bit deeper. RBC automotive analyst Joseph Spack did some coverage on this company and recently said that Nikola is more like a business plan than an actual business. They have no revenue and they're not going to for a while. In comparison, we've already mentioned that Hylion already has products on the road going through that testing. They have a much more solid plan and capability for that mass adaptation of their product as well. Because of this, I think we're gonna see a similar soar in the stock price upon completion of that merger. But beyond that, I think we're gonna have a much more sustainable growth for the company too. All right, so that's it. That is my summary. I hope this helps you understand SPAC companies more and the opportunities that they can present. Uh, full disclosure, I have bought into the Hylion stock myself. My average price is sitting around $20.54 per share. I'm really excited to see what it does. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Have you invested with SPACs before? Are there others that you're excited about? Just leave a comment. I always love to hear what you guys are thinking. Please remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and have an awesome day. Cheers.